You can see some uh, visible changes primarily in those functional images, the resting state images. Um, there looks like there's additional, um, we call it coherence, um, within the networks uh, that we typically measure using those types of MRI um, assessments. So you can actually see the strength of the connections improving uh, in those images. Doing this type of research for 25 years, I think we, we're kind of onto something that might actually help people that are typically overlooked by a lot of uh, professionals because they are really difficult to treat. So Larry's story was kind of our first introduction to uh, photobiomodulation and um, it was a really interesting story and uh, very compelling, uh, though anecdotal. Uh, and it wasn't until he actually showed us his uh, brain scans uh, where he was showing us the effects of the light therapies that he underwent on his resting state functional MRIs that uh, we really began to look at this and go, there's something here we need to kind of take a look at this and see if uh, we can understand, you know, how this is impacting uh, functional um, activity in the brain.